Basically, my aorta burst. I didn't okay. get a chance. You know, they said that if it wasn't for me being young and working out and uh, healthy, uh -huh. I probably would have would have would have would have died because okay. ninety nine percent of the people don't live through it. Yeah, especially a rupture. Yeah, especially uh -huh. a rupture. And I felt it pop in my chest and it won't run across my chest. And uh, twenty minutes later, I was paralyzed. I could not move my legs. I had to be carried out, and they had no idea what was wrong with me. The EKG they did all kinds of tests and everything was fine. And they did the echo, found that I had ruptured up here, the ascending had popped open, that's why I probably felt the blood in my, the board from my chest and it ripped all the way down to my leg. What um, happened to your aorta? My aorta, the, uh, the ascending was about to rupture. Oh. And so um, because of the enlargement and where the location was, and my doctor who at this time gave me a yearly echo said well, let's have the echo first so I went in and I had the echo and I got a call that night said you need surgery now oh. and so then within a matter of like 48 hours I was having a aortic replacement um, I have a little pig graft in me and uh, I still like eating bacon though <laughs> <laughs> Number one, aortic dissection is one of those words I never knew. Even like when my dissection occurred, we were out, um, we played pool. And I finished my match and I went home and took a shower and told them I think I've hurt my back. And I thought I picked up the baby wrong and hurt my back. But low, I, low back, ranch. Low back. Low back, okay. Well, low back, mid back. Mid back. This pain is ripping me apart. I said, we have got to do something and do it fast. Within an hour, they were already telling us they were transporting us into the city. They told us that, they told him that I was going in for open heart. Oh. That it was that bad. Several doctors tell us before, oh, you're so lucky, children don't dissect. And I went, yes, Michael, lift your shirt. <laughs> Here's the scars and all the stuff. So, yes, they do dissect. So I believe he was 10 years old when he uh, first had to have his first major surgery. Did he have an aorta dissection? He did. And it is replaced with an artificial valve, stainless steel. He ticks. We used to make fun of him. He used to like it too. He was in the hospital for almost three weeks with his heart surgery. Okay. So um, here is a really primitive way to show what an aorta looks like. I use three awareness bracelets and you can tell there are three layers. The most inner layer, if this was an aorta, okay, if this was an aorta, the most inner layer would be called the intima. The second layer is called the media and the outer layer is called the adventitia. Blood actually goes through here normally. So this is called the true lumen. This is where the blood from the heart comes, uh, where the blood comes from the heart and it goes through the aorta. Now what happened in a dissection is the most inner layer called the intima actually rips off the wall of the media. So it rips off the wall of the media and now you have two lumens. I know, I'm sorry, this is just a very primitive way of trying to show what a, an aortic dissection looks like. So again, the intima actually rips off the wall of the media. As you can tell, when that happens, you now have two pipes going down the aorta. So again, the one that is normally uh, where the blood flows through, once the 
intima rips off the media now you have two holes and this side the second side is called the false lumen so this hopefully gives you kind of a uh, fundamental way of looking at what is a dissection normal aorta three layers the most inner layer is called the intima the second layer is called the media the outer layer is called the adventitia and when dissection happens the, med the intima actually rips off the wall and separates from the media and now creates two holes that blood flows through the original hole is called the true lumen and the second hole that's created is called the false lumen so this is what how I can uh, the best way I can find to explain what is an aortic dissection